Hello everyone, today I'm going to review Commander Keen Invasion of the Vorticons Episode 1, Maroon on Mars for DOS. The first episode in the series was released as Shareware on December 14th, 1990. Those who were interested in the other two episodes had to order the game directly from Apogee as it took care of development. The story is about an 8 year old boy genius named Billy Blaze who goes to Mars for who knows what reason. While on Mars, his ship parts get stolen and now he has to track down the thieves, get the ship parts back and repair the bean with bacon mega rocket and get back to Earth before his parents do. So let me see if I got this straight. We have an 8 year old boy genius who builds a spaceship from spare parts and goes to Mars for no apparent reason without any kind of equipment and God knows who's on Mars with him. Makes sense to me, I guess. You might have noticed that there's no audio from the gameplay. It's because I forgot to set my DVR volume. But then again, there isn't much to talk about anyways because the sound comes from an internal speaker. To put things into perspective, what I mean is that the computer itself generates the audio that the game produces. It's very basic, monotone, and until the improvement of video cards, that's all you had. The gameplay itself is very basic. Get from point A to point B, collect items like junk food, and for every 20,000 points you'll get an extra life. And ray guns to defend yourself. Keep in mind that ray guns are hard to come by and you shouldn't waste ammo. You can access your inventory and pause the game by pressing the space bar to see your status. See that empty space? I'll get into that later. One drawback to the gameplay is that you can only save on the map screen. You know what? It makes you wonder who left all these things behind. I'm also kind of surprised when all is said and done, Commander King doesn't get obese or diabetic. Interestingly, Commander King doesn't die when he exits his ship because of the thinner atmosphere. Must have some good genes, I guess. One level has the pogo stick. You'll need this item in order to get through the rest of the game and collect hard to reach items. Another item that's needed in order to proceed are key cards. While not common, key cards are usually in levels that are either guarding something, like a spaceship part, or in levels that are very large. Smaller levels don't usually have key cards. The controls themselves are responsive and easy to remember. While the keyboard is fine, I prefer playing with an Xbox 360 controller. Yes, you heard that. I played a DOS game with an Xbox 360 controller. While the graphics aren't the greatest, they do their job quite well, and the animations are pretty smooth. The characters are also well done, and the enemies are cool looking. Speaking of enemies, let's do roll call. We have one-eyed aliens who act too friendly, two-eyed aliens, gray walking robots doing their impersonation of zombies, robots that shoot, ice cannons that freeze you, and the main antagonist and recurring enemies of the series, the Vorticons. So what were the Vorticons doing on Mars anyway? Never mind. The less I know, the better. So has this game aged very well? The answer is yes. Even 25 years later, this game still has that unique charm to this day. If you haven't played this game before, I'd recommend doing so. Commander Keen Episode 1 gets 5 stars out of 5.